हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कंप्लीट सीक्वल ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो सीरीज सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट व्हिच इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अचीव द रिक्वायरमेंट सो आई विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो व्हाट इज द इफ कंडीशन एंड व्हाट इज द केस कंडीशन एंड ऑल्सो आई विल गिव यू द इन डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द इन वाट सीनार यो यू विल यूज द इफ कंडीशन और वाट सीनार यो यू विल यूज द केस स्टेटमेंट सो बेसिकली दिस वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अचीव द रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द इंटरव्यू पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दे रेयर केस दे विल पुट दिस टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन बट इफ यू सॉल्विंग एनी रियल टाइम सीनार यो बेस्ड क्वेश्चन दिस टाइप ऑफ द uh learning uh, like the control statement is very helpful to uh, solve any question uh, any real time scenario based uh, interview question even if you working in the real time also uh, this if and case will play the important role so uh, put uh, uh, try to put uh, to concentration on the all the video uh, which i already covered in this uh, training program so if you don't uh, uh, watch the any video uh, just you can go and watch the video number 1 to 43 so uh, you will get a better understanding in the sequel because we already started with the advanced uh, learning of the sequel uh, so if you uh, not able to understand the beginner or the moderate level concept uh, then advanced concept also uh, you will not able to uh, understand it so just go and watch all the video uh, 1 to 44 so uh, let's start with this uh, video uh, training uh, so jump to the sql server uh, management studio and uh, uh, first i will discuss about the case statement uh, then i will discuss about the uh, if condition and then uh, in end of this video i will discuss uh, what is the major difference between the if and uh, case statement so basically the the name seems uh, seems uh, conditional control statement uh, like uh, this is working basically when we have this some type of the conditional value uh, like for example uh, suppose if you have this some type of the data and uh, if you want to update the data based on the some condition or if you want to retrieve the data uh, based on the some condition uh, then we can use the uh, conditional control statement like for example uh, uh, i have one uh, requirement that uh, Uh, if you uh, if need to be uh, uh, provide some salary hike uh, okay randomly like suppose if any employee have the salary is greater than twenty uh, thousand and then we need to increment is five uh, percent and if they have the less than twenty thousand uh, we need to uh, provide the increment of the ten percent okay so then in the, in this scenario. Uh, we can use the condition control statement if condition but if you have some data where want to filter it uh, like the uh, select statement or the where condition like uh, uh, i have this uh, let me update this table and i have this date table uh, that is a dim employee table is there so uh, if you can see uh, we have one column that is the uh, marital status uh, column is there so i uh, you means data is not provided am have uh, uh, married uh, ss single so suppose if you have this type of the data but uh, the client requested to uh, generate some dynamic value okay like for example if you have the uh, value you data not provided am is the married s is the unmarried okay so this type of the output they required then we can use the case statement and the syntax for the case statement is you need to put the select statement then case and when and then column name uh, whatever we have the conditional value like when the marital status is equal to m uh, then married okay and the when the uh, marital status is equal to s then unmarried uh, you can put the in the uh, uh, mid number of the conditional value okay so whenever any condition is, is satisfy the value will be come into the output and if you don't have any conditional uh, then you can just put the else so i put it two condition but suppose i have five to 10 condition uh, we can put in down all the conditional and uh, you need to put the else so other than this whatever value have like for example if you have x uh, uh, y z anything value is there then all the value they will provide the data not provided or data is incorrect something is there 
so uh, we need to put the else condition and uh, always case statement will be end uh, with the end statement and then you need to provide the uh, and uh, column name uh, which is the uh, alias name so if you not provide it it will uh, show the no column and here uh, we have the material status that just for the output purpose so if you execute this code uh, you can see uh, the output is coming uh, if we have the value u data not provided m is the married h is the unmarried so uh, like data we have you can also put this uh, case statement into the uh, where clause as well so whenever we have this type of the requirement uh, we can use the case statement uh, but uh, the next one is the if condition so if condition is basically used uh, when we checking the sum of the value that if you have, if you have the sum value then perform some type of the operation like any type of the operation so uh, for example i am taking some a small example here but uh, in the next video when i discuss where clause i will discuss in the detail uh, how you can use the if condition in the uh, complex code is there okay so i have one uh, i declare two variable salary a and uh, salary b and uh, i am assigning the value of 11006 in the salary a and 11007 is salary b and i am just checking that uh, both have the uh, uh, equal uh, salary or not so i am put at the if condition if salary a is equal to salary b then i am just printing both yearly income is equal else both yearly income is not in equal so if you execute this one okay so you will get uh, that both yearly income is not equal the reason is uh, both yearly income salary is the not equal if you look up this table also you can find here 11006 and 11007 have the uh, different salary so that is the reason uh, the output message printing the both yearly income is not equal so basically uh, whenever you have the requirement to check the value uh, so then operation will be performed so here between begin and end uh, you can put the any condition whatever do you want to put here so if you have this type of the requirement uh, i will detail i will explain you in the detail uh, what is the real time use cases uh, when we learn the while loop and then in one uh, uh, synergy based question that i will discuss in next video and where we can find the uh, uh, case statement use cases if condition we use cases and the while loop uh, use cases that will be i will discuss in the uh, next video uh, which is the uh, under the while loop so uh, keep watching all video don't miss any second even uh, if you miss something uh, you will lost something so thank you for the watching this video i will meet again on next video thank you so much